I have graduated as an electronics and communication engineer from Himachal Pradesh itself. So yeah, after my in the graduation itself, I had some you know programming exposure in the first year, but uh, we didn't have computer science or IT in our college, so there was not much programming experience uh, like exposure. My father is like a tourist driver, and my mother is a housewife. I have a little sister who is doing her MCA right now. I got the job when Raksha Bandhan on the day of Raksha Bandhan. The okay. that was the day when I got my job. So. At that time, a lot of people from our family were there, and when I told him, so he bragged about it in front of everyone, <laughs> like he got a job and all. So yeah. Um. Uh, hello everyone. A very good morning to all wonderful viewers. We have our amazing alumni, Mr. Shobhit Sharma, with us. So, without any further ado, let's get started with our podcast, uh, our uh, video podcast. This is our main um, way we are going to connect our alumni with you. So, without any further delay, let me introduce uh, Mr. Shobhit Sharma. So, hello, Shobhit. How are you today? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Kafir. I'm very nice. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. I'm doing fantastic. So having you uh, with us is definitely going to be a great day for me. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, Shobit, I would like to know a little about your background, uh, where you're from and anything that you would like to tell us about you. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. First of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me uh, here. And uh, yeah, so my name is Shobit Sharma and I come from Himachal Pradesh. I have graduated as an electronics and communication engineer from Himachal Pradesh itself. So yeah, after my in the graduation itself, I had some you know programming exposure in the first year, but uh, we didn't have computer science or IT in our college, so there was not much programming experience uh, like exposure. So basically, yeah, then after the first year, in the second year, the lockdown happened, and uh, that's when I started exploring the fields that I can build my career in. And that's when I came to know about data science. So yeah, that is like about it. And then I started doing some courses and all small, small courses from YouTube or something. But there was nothing like, you know, where I can learn everything. So after my graduation, I joined data science bootcamp from Odin School. And yeah, that's about it. And uh, then I got uh, like placed as a data scientist at ADA. About my family, I have, uh, my father is like a tourist driver. And my mother is a housewife. I have a little sister who is doing her MCA right now. Yeah, so thank you. Amazing. That's that's very nice to know, Shobit, that you come with such a humble background and now you have achieved such a big task. So I'd like to ask you, now that you told me about your father who's a tourist driver and mom's a housewife and uh, you were an electronics engineer. So they must be thinking that, okay, you might go into the electronics field now and you've chosen data science, which is even better. And it's a field that is booming right now. I'd like to know, how do your parents feel? How does your father feel about uh, you becoming a data science um, you know, background? The work that you're doing is with data science. How does he feel about that? Okay, so yeah, when I graduated from my college, so I had... Uh, like a package in my hand, which was uh, like, which was not neither from the data science, com like data science field or from the electronics field. It was some other job, but, uh, and I told my father about it. He was uh, happy about it. Like, yeah, I got a job and then, but I did not join that company, obviously. And uh, I took the data science course. So he told me like, why are you doing a course? So I told him like, this is what I'm interested in. So he was like, you've studied four years in a in a field and now you are switching your field. So like, what is it? So I told him about like, this is the field of future and I want to build a career in this, in this itself. So he said, okay, then if you want to do this, then do it. And yeah, so he supported me th in that very much at that time. So that's what I wanted at that time, actually. And then I got a job and he was pretty much happy about So I got the job and Raksha Bandhan on the day of Raksha Bandhan. The, okay. That was the day when I got my job. So at okay. that time, a lot of people from our family were there. And when I told him, so he bragged about it in front of everyone. <laughs> like he got a job and all. So yeah, um, so that, that was like, he was very happy about it. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure that even after this, when he's going to go for his work and he's going to meet different people that he's going to, you know, show the city around, he must be bragging it to them as well. Yeah. Yeah, that Mira beta na data yeah. science ko kaam karta hai and uh, they'll be like super happy. Yes. Yeah. So do you think yeah. that happens? Uh, that will happen when he uh, goes for work? Oh, 
obviously like uh, i mean there are multiple times that he has done that <laughs> sometimes it's embarrassing but other times it's nice also <laughs> nice nice yes i i feel you should be proud or he will be yeah. very proud of you to have a wonderful son like you yes so um now coming to the next question uh, shobit can you tell me something about the role that you are uh, working at ada yeah. okay and uh, how do you feel about it what is the role a uh, little more that our audience would like to know about yeah so i got hired as a data scientist and uh, like so in our company we have clients that we deal with so my client is a leading food delivery partner in india so that is my client so for them i do the data analytics parts and also some data science models that i build so yeah that is my part so i usually do is like their impact analysis like using sql and python itself there are no, no other tools that i use in a, on a daily basis sql is like in the bread and butter for any data person right now so sql should be like you know one of the strong suits of everyone so yeah i am using sql and i usually do impact analysis what is the impact of any experiment that they did in the previous previous previously like in last year if they did any experiment so what was the what were the things that were there before that experiment and what are the things that are there after the experiment so that is like a pre and post analysis so that is like what is my job right now some other things that i might do will be there in the future yeah wonderful wonderful so uh, having such an amazing role i would like to know how did you get this role how was your interview experience like from modern school when you got the interview experience can you give us the entire process so that would be very uh, insightful for our viewers so can you please let us know about that shobhit sure. sure 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 so when the course like ended so there were a multi- there were multiple opportunities that came into my hand and there were multiple tests there were multiple uh, you know online online tests or aptitude tests so i usually got the rejected rejected in the first first round itself and uh, there were a lot of times when i faced that rejection so that was like a pretty hard time but then i realized that this is part of the process and i have i have to go through it to you know if if i want to crack a job so yeah after 3 months of the course i got the this opportunity so the first round was aptitude round itself so in that they asked uh, like simple aptitude questions like you know uh, english comprehension and aptitude as well as python and sql also so they were pretty easy questions i wouldn't say like they were tough but these are the things that sometimes the fresher people forget to you know read about the aptitude and english comprehension they think that programming and coding is everything but that is not true so yeah so i cleared that round and then i uh, then there was technical round so that was purely based on python and sql and little bit of machine learning okay so they were so that was not uh, like you know very tough but the foundations and if your basics are clear then you will be able to answer many of the questions that the interviewer may may ask, may ask. so yeah that was there and then the last round was hr round so apparently my data science manager took my hr round so that also became a little technical for me so yeah he asked me about my projects that i did and then he also deep dived into that also like what are the machine learning algorithms i used what is the impact of the machine learning algorithms that i used so yeah that is something like your projects uh, represent you so person should be confident about their project whatever they have done and whatever tools that you are using whatever the algorithms that you are using you should be sure about like why are you using them okay so that is one thing so after that it, after the round itself after the interview the my manager only told me like you have been hired so congratulations and i didn't know how to react to that <laughs> because i was expecting like they will tell me after two, two to three days of the interview that that i have been selected or not but the interview itself they have told me so that was a pretty you know different kind of feeling at that time it doesn't happen to many you are very lucky i believe uh, shobhit to know your results yeah. right after the interview that's very good it's very good so yeah. i'd like to know in this entire process you know you told you tried a lot of interviews a lot of attempts and you did not clear but you got the right you know times it always says when you're going through a lot of difficulty it means that something better is waiting in store maybe ada was waiting for you and that's why you got through mm-hmm. i'd like to know how do you think um, odin school was helpful and what do you what would you like to tell about odin school's help and the assistance throughout this process Sure, sure, sure. Like 
in every interview when like there was any technical interview or hr interview also or even aptitude test also i would just go to the audience school or whoever is able available to connect to me i would connect to the audience school people and i'll ask them like i want a mock interview or i want a so there used to be mock interviews uh, like every weekend but i used to have personalized interviews also after after requesting them so they would prepare that also for me so that was something like i am very thankful for and uh, Uh, and like in every interview process for every company they there used to be some resources that they the audience school provided me with and they were very helpful at that time yeah because uh, as as i gave the interviews as i got rejected i got better and better uh, in giving the interviews so that is one thing that i'm very thankful for for audience school that that's amazing uh, so um, now i would like to know uh now you've told us about the interview process um now how did you prepare for these interviews what was your preparation yeah. because our um, you know a future of current students a future students would like to know that this is how we prepare this is how we can get a job even though we are going through so much of uh, you know rejections still shobit got a job so how did he do that how did your interview preparation go about yeah so when you you know when you give your first interview you are very nervous and all and then you give a second interview you are a little less nervous so that only proves that practice makes a man perfect so you need to practice a lot mm-hmm. not only your technical skills but your uh, communication skills your soft skills how do you uh, you know take yourself into a interview how do you speak and all that matters a lot and uh, after that like i used to practice i didn't actually used to practice a lot earlier when i joined the odin school boot camp but after when i started giving the interviews i was like no this is something i need to be very focused on so practice was one thing that i did a lot i used to give mock interviews as i said to odin school people so mm-hmm. i would uh, i i remember like in my batch uh, there were a lot of people who were called out to give interviews and they would still not you know come out to give interviews and i used to be like no every weekend i'll go i'll go to the class i'll attend the class and i'll like take my interview right now mm-hmm. i want you to take my interview so that is something that i remember yeah so i think mm-hmm. practice 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 is one thing that that will always help you and it will always uh, like result in a good way okay. so your entire boot camp experience with odin school okay from the curriculum from uh, the various uh, the sessions i'm i'm pretty sure that you know in odin school we don't just give you sessions on the technical part alone there are multiple types of sessions we give you yeah. so out of all of this how do you think yeah. these sessions are helpful for you to get this job see um according to me like every session that i had uh, and nobody is able to remember everything that is taught to them right but if you are able to pick up a very few things like you know one or two things from every session it will you know benefit you in the long run even after even like before getting the job it will help you but after getting the job also it will help you because competition never ends even after getting the job you will be you know uh, like looking towards another position or another role so you will always be struggling with other people also so these skills these things uh, that audience school taught will be uh, benefiting me in the long run i know that as itself so these communication classes like used to happen with vivek sir so they were very helpful like to me even still they are very helpful to me in the job very so yeah that is one thing there brilliant brilliant yeah. so uh, you know when we go to buy a phone yeah one important aspect even though the looks and all are separate one important aspect we look at is ui user interface now how does the phone connect with yes. us so i'd like to know how was yeah. your user interface with Odin School. How comfortable were you with the entire process? So our, um, you know, our viewers would like to know: Was it difficult at any point, or any any challenges you had? Uh, were there almost every time, um, you know, it was taken care of? So what was your experience of the user interface with Odin School? Okay, sure. So yeah, like uh, when I joined the program, so weekend classes were there, and the instructor used to ask us question, and we would give the solutions in the in the session itself and they would ask us to share our screens they would ask us to uh, you know give give the answers in the chat and everything so that was the you know ui experience in the uh, session itself but after the weekend classes on the weekdays also they used to give doubt clear- clarification sessions mentorship sessions and uh, in the mentoring sessions they would ask us the questions only and we would give the answers 
and in the doubt clarification sessions we would ask them the doubts they would give the answers and they were odin talks where they would uh, like bring some uh, you know industry expert to give us some insights into the industry what is the industry doing right now what is happening in the industry right now in different industries like in pharma in automobiles in uh, some other industry in technical so whatever is happening they would tell us about that in the data analytics field so yeah that was there so like it was all happening you know there was no like ha uh, like we are not doing anything for the whole week then suddenly there are classes it was not like that there were sessions throughout the week and we were connected with the instructors and the people from our in school itself and whenever i had any doubt like if uh, if doubt clarification sessions were there but i have doubt on some other day i would just you know connect to uh, connect to the odin school people through the chat and the, they would try to you know uh, like sell, give solutions to my doubt in the chat itself so that was one thing that i'm very grateful for that whenever that that i had doubt uh, i would just uh, write to the odin school people even a mail or in the you know chat ui that they had at that time so that was very helpful at that time so my experience was like very great i was always connected to the people in the odin school wonderful wonderful thank you so much for that it means a lot uh, the coming from an alumni so uh, coming to the last question uh, of uh, this podcast uh, shobhit i would like to know what valuable insights would you like to give to our current students and for the future students of uh, odin school okay so yeah like uh, one is the thing that i have already mentioned that uh, practice is the only thing that will take you you know forward you will need to practice even uh, even only half hour a day no not asking not much like you know half hour a day one hour a day is enough you are studying and also you know this is a very dynamic field it is changing every day something is happening every day you will read news about chat gpt and you will read news about uh, ai uh, models that are being being built right now and the tools that are being built right now so uh people need to know about these things like you know what is happening in the field right now read articles and blogs go to the companies websites whatever the companies are doing these big companies google microsoft and all they write their blogs in the in the website so reading those blogs gives a lot of insight like what is the what is happening in the field right now and uh, uh one thing i'm uh, like i would like to say is like change is the only constant in our life so change is like you know it will be happening every day so you need to adapt yourself according to those changes if tomorrow sql is not that relevant although i am not i am very sure that it will not happen sql will always will will always will always will be there but let's say some something some new other tool or technology comes in and uh, that is the requirement of the day then you will have to learn those things you will not be just like like i know sql only then i'll do work in sql only i'll not do anything else so that attitude will not help so people will need to you know adapt make yourself adaptable according to the you know today's requirement that is one thing that i'm uh, that i would like to say yeah wonderful so this you told us for the current students so consider there are uh, people who are still thinking uh, odin school jana hai ya jana hai ya nahi jana hai so do you have anything for them for the yeah. upcoming uh, odin school uh, mm-hmm. that's sure so see uh, there are a lot of resources i would say in the on the internet you would find courses you would find uh, you know free resources also which are like you know youtube or some other co- courses and videos but i'm pretty sure that you would not find everything in one place and that is what odin school is providing like you know from python sql machine learning even deep learning visualizations communication skills interview skills mock interviews so i think these are the things that not everyone like on any platform no one will give you and such a decent in such a decent amount so i think that is one thing people should be looking at like see practically you have to get a course if you are not from the data science field you have to get a course and you have to get a job also there is no point in getting the course if you are not planning to do a job so yeah like that is i think and your placement support is like very impeccable i would say yeah like they I, i used to get opportunities every week for there were opportunities for 10 lpa 8 lpa 14 lpa and that totally depends if your resume gets selected or not that is on company side but from your side there were a lot of opportunities i would say so 
opportunities are there people should be learning things and learning these things should be from you know from some course itself you will be doing some course on youtube or something so instead of doing that where you are sick where the like where the courses are segregated on different platforms you have to move to different platforms to learn so instead of that someone can just take one course everything will be there placement support and everything so why not go for it so i would recommend everyone to go for it and you know join the odin school boot camp and they will surely get placed i'm pretty sure about it great amazing thank you so much for that shobit so that brings us to the end of the podcast thank you so much for your time and um, so a hearty uh, gratitude from the entire odin family to you and also our wishes and our regards to uh, the most humble mama and papa at home and everyone there for seeing having a, such a proud and uh, you know talented son thank you so much shobit for your time and uh, with this we'll end this podcast and um, hopefully we'll see you again in uh, another platform somewhere sure 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 so thank you so much all the very much. best thank for so greater much. things happening in your life yeah thank you so much thank you so much.